introduce myself. My name is David Wareham. I'm from the Civil Engineering Department at the University of Canterbury in Christchurch, New Zealand. I have two jobs in the Civil Engineering Department. I'm an Associate Professor in, um, I teach design of wastewater treatment plants. And the other half-time job that I have is I'm in the College of Engineering as a dean there in charge of the international affairs. That's my, my role. My main purpose is I'm here at, in the capacity as the international dean. Uh, I am in Chennai, essentially attending the Education New Zealand uh, recruitment fair to answer questions to students who are considering undergraduate and postgraduate study in engineering. And so that's my main uh, issue in, in Chennai. Okay, so the topic I'm giving is uh, the impact of the 2010-2011 earthquakes uh, in Christchurch, New Zealand. So five, six years ago we had a, a series of severe earthquakes. And uh, particularly in my specialty, I'm involved in wastewater treatment. So I'm looking at the impacts of those earthquakes on the wastewater treatment system. And I'm giving that at IIT Madras uh, later on today, I think at 4.30 in the afternoon. I don't know if we have any formal links with IIT, uh, but um, this is just an opportunity that's come up that Education New Zealand has um, you know, try to push out some lecturers and academics. They're very interested in increasing the academic interchange between the uh, elite institutions in India and uh, the universities. And so this is one of, I think, I think the fourth initiative that we're pushing uh, and are putting forward. And as I say, it's an opportunity to get to know our counterparts in Chennai and around India and uh, to have a sharing of information. Perhaps that could lead to exchanges and a pile of other things. So that's the basic uh, purpose I have to stand in. As far as I'm aware, there's not a specific scholarship that is tied to scholars or students coming from IIT in Madras. Okay? Um, like any student uh, that is uh, applying that's an international student, there are a range of scholarships offered at the University of Canterbury, and I'm sure that at the other universities in um, New Zealand, they have similar sorts of scholarships. But as far as I know, there's not a specific one that is linked to IIT uh, in Madras. Um, well, my, my talk is particularly about earthquake. Uh, effects but of course every disaster is unique in terms of its situation that happens but uh, so one can't necessarily predict uh, you know what the circumstances are going to be in terms of the effects of the disaster however there are some general things in terms of you know business continuity and so I would have thought that every city would have an emergency and business continuity plan that the government should have in, uh, in place. And uh, I think that it has to be at a level that is more than just, um, you know, in an emergency, who contacts who, you know, because sometimes it stops at that level. Just the documentation is in emergency, these are the contact details, these are the cell phone numbers, and so on and so forth. It has to be much more than that, obviously. I think you need to. Um, build in redundancy to uh, your various infrastructure so that you can anticipate if something happens, there is inherent redundancy built in the system to provide resilience. Uh, in addition, I think you can uh, have uh, simulations uh, in terms of scenarios that could possibly happen and uh, you practice those and see how what you respond in terms of an emergency. Uh, so I don't know the specifics of what went what happened in terms of Chennai, but hopefully the, uh, if things could have been done better, there would have been some lessons learned. I will comment on the lessons that we learned in relation to the earthquakes on the sewage treatment plant. Uh, uh, so uh, there may be some helpful things there, but uh, in the wider context of a city and how it responds to a disaster, 
um, that's a very complex issue, of course. From an aspiring student point of view, um, of course we're very interested in having students come to New Zealand to study in the postgraduate area. Um, we are unashamedly advertising our city as a living laboratory. There's lots of opportunities. I've, I've taken the liberty of translating somebody, some of the numbers here into Indian rupees. And so here is what Christchurch is spending in terms of its uh, rebuild. We are spending 500 crore rupees per week. Uh, so uh, that is going to happen at that amount until about 2018, and then it will tail off afterwards for another six or seven years. So uh, there's a tremendous amount of scope for the work, and uh, the more engineers that come and help us rebuild, uh, the more pleased we are. So uh, it's a lot, of, a lot of opportunities there, and every engineering discipline is engaged in that rebuild in some capacity or other.